Hi everybody, my name is Sean O'Kane. Welcome to Chip Estimate TV, your IP resource for your next chip design in the world of the EDA industry. Thank you very much for being here. Today's show is being brought to you by Global Foundries. That's right, Global Foundries Tech Conference, September 1st. Check it out. My guest today is Susan Peterson, Director of Product Management for Verification IP and Memories right here at Cadence. Come on in here, Susan. Gosh, Sean, you make that sound so good. So easy. So tell me a little bit of what you've been doing this summer. Well, Sean, to tell you the truth, I have had just kind of a geeked out summer. <laughs> I mean, since I we've like been it. at DAC, we acquired Denali, yeah. so that means we're bringing all their verification IP and IP and memories mm -hmm. into a single solution set for, for our user base. And that's just been consuming me. It's a really exciting time. Okay, so I, I remember one slide that you had when you presented at DAC that really brought it all together. Could, I'm look. surprised you remember that. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a really good slide. It told a great picture <laughs> about the Cadence offering. Let's put it up. So we're going to put all it right. up and great. talk through this. Tell me about the, the red, yellow, and green because this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you think it's cool too, because so. essentially this is what we're what we were looking at at DAC was a really nice landscape. But when you add the Denali offering, right, it becomes even richer. Okay. And so the stuff that you see in yellow is stuff that Denali brought to the party. Right. The stuff that's in red came from Cadence, and the stuff that's in green are areas, for instance, like PCI Express and USB, where we both have great product offerings that we're now merging. <laughs> Yeah. So just figuring out how to do all that in the best way, that's what I've been up to. Now, you recently had a survey that did very, very well. Tell me what the results were. Well, you know, typically it, in the EDA industry, yeah. we make these decisions kind of in a vacuum, but we decided, ding, to actually go out and ask people what they thought. And so we surveyed the Denali user base, the Cadence user base, mm -hmm. the Chip Estimate um, email list, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and we got about a thousand different responses. It was a terrific good. feedback. We learned about things that people love about the Denali product line, mm -hmm. things like their tremendous responsiveness, things like complete coverage for the protocols. We learned about things that they loved about the Cadence way of doing good. things, the, the complete coverage approach and yep. compliance management. Mm -hmm. And so now the onus is on us to bring all that back out to the market in the way they've told us they'd like to see it. Okay, and right here we're going to uh, pick the winner of the iPad because there was we a... We told people we'd give them an iPad, yeah. So one name would be picked uh, for uh, for an iPad and this gentleman... And drum roll, Scott please. Scott Jacobson. Thanks, so Scott. I said his name because, you know, you could find him. <laughs> you, you know where he lives. Who's so, who yes, won? out of a thousand names, yes. we did this random. And I hope I don't butcher this name. The winner of the iPad, thanks to all of you who responded to the survey, but the winner is Vipin or Vipin Kumar at Xilinx right here in San Jose. So Vipin, congratulations. We'd be delighted to get that iPad over to you. And again, thanks to everybody who gave you our feedback. We really do take it to heart. Thank you, Susan, for being here. Thanks, and Sean. stick around because we have another guest. Uh, actually, he was a guest uh, that we taped last week in an interview is uh, Larry Dissenhoff, mm -hmm. Group Director for Government Relations, talking a little bit about IP protocol and licensing. Exciting stuff. So we'll be right back with Larry Dissenhoff. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Sean. I'd like to introduce Larry Dissenhoff, Group Director, Government Relations and Export Compliance at Cadence Design Systems and EDAC Export Committee Chair. Larry, thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Sean. Hey, uh, Quickly, let's talk about uh, the EDA consortium, the committee, and you can comment on uh, the export control reforms mentioned in President Obama's uh, State of the Union speech and how that can be directly related, related or have an impact on the EDA industry. Okay, so uh, after our success in properly classifying EDA technology as minimally restricted for export purposes and then getting our exemption on how we use encryption, our committee itself sort of fell back into a monitoring and mentoring role for the last few years, but we are paying attention to what's going on in Washington. Mm -hmm. So currently, the uh, administration and the House Foreign Affairs Committee are about to come out with recommended uh, export reforms. Now, we don't think they're going to affect us directly, but they are going to affect our customers. And today, our customers are designing a lot of restricted technology and they come into us asking for help on the design, so we fall subject to those restrictions. My hope is with the export reforms, 
uh, a lot fewer items are going to be restricted and we're going to have an easier time in helping these customers. So we're going to be monitoring this as we go along and as the reforms uh, get proposed and get published, we'll be commenting on them and then we'll be back out to the wider EDA community telling everyone what these reforms look like. Well said. Thank you, Larry Dissenhoff. Thanks for joining us on Chip Estimate TV. Once again, the show is being sponsored by Global Foundries. And click right here to register for the Global Foundry Tech Conference, September 1st. We'll see you.